Welcome back, strange crew. You are tuned into another trip through life's deep cuts. We hope you enjoy the ride. Keep it strange. Wow, this is great. I feel like I want to move out of the background. Okay. <laughs> if you seen this yeah. show, you would have been like, wow. Yeah, mics ready. Yeah, brains. Spicy broccoli board. I swear to God, I exist. This is going to be the best episode yet. I'm going to eat right on you, bud. Oh. <laughs> hey, strange crew. Didn't see you there, but we got a fucking exclusive for you up in this bitch. So, um, we've kind of seen the new Deanery line for y'all, and uh, it's awesome, and we're so excited. We put the strange and strange grooves, and we put the groove in the grooves, you know what I'm saying? And we've got the governor giving her right here with us, the strange crew, and we're so excited. We saw the new movie tonight, and it was fucking awesome. Canadian was, classic. It was right so there. fucking good, and like we cannot wait for y'all to see it. But we saw it first. Sorry, yeah, but we'll give you the tea. It was fucking awesome. You're gonna love it. You're gonna laugh. You're gonna cry. You're gonna throw horns. It's so fucking good. And we're so stoked to talk to you. Yeah, thanks for having me, Kate. Walk on. We're so stoked. You know, it's been such a an awesome time, like watching you go through all the different like cities so far. What has been your favorite city so far? Oh, I don't know. I'm going to have to say Edmonton only because uh, I'm like, uh, it's like become a second home to me. Yeah. Like, I love it there. Love. Uh, yeah, I met my buddy Nate there. He's rad. Uh, there's like, um, there's a special vibe in that town. I don't know what to say. Yeah. I, Winnipeg's amazing because we, we like made the movie there. There's yeah. like, you know, all these people there. But, but Edmonton was so rowdy. Like, rowdy. It, was, it was pretty, it was pretty rowdy tonight. But when, but Edmonton was extra, extra rough. Uh, so we'll see. But but we've only done two screenings, Edmonton and Winnipeg. So we'll see what like, comes after. But uh, and yeah. Halifax, holy shit, you showed up tonight. Yeah, Halifax Wednesday night. I mean, in the middle of let's be honest, nowhere. It was like if you if you take two steps outside of the parking lot, what are you in like? Aren't you in New Brunswick? Like this is I mean, like this is, to be, this is a big city. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's true. This, I'm like, this is like my, this is my vacation of the summer. It's like, oh, big city. Yeah. yeah. We're in Halifax. Big this is Las city. Vegas of okay. Canada. Yeah. 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 Well, you're from the Cape. Right? I'm from Cape Breton, and Diener thought uh, we were out to eat tonight, and he thought I took a boat for four hours. I sincerely asked him if he took a boat to get here. I, and I'm uh. ish, eternally ashamed. <laughs> he said that there's a causeway that was built. In the 60s? Yeah. No, no, it's, it's, it's an island that's off of the mainland, and we've been here for hundreds of years. We've been yeah. here. Yeah. We've been we've here. Been the doing this shit, okay? We've been here. We've Kate been Breton here. is not bullshit as much as Diener wants to think it's... I don't know. I just... I, I thought you had to take a boat to get he here. He looked at me genuinely and said... A scan. <laughs> four hours. I said, I'm paying four hours here, and he said take a boat i'm like <laughs> it's possible when new brunswick no, we take it, ferries all the time one place like, in the world that is four hours on a boat morocco no we'll no, have to find out plane. on the next episode of Str- no i'm just joking. strange grooves is gotta get to the bottom of this before we're, we're gonna dig into it i want, I want every uh, single uh, itinerary for four hours I want strange grooves to get to the bottom of a lot. Man, support shit. local journalism. Sign up for our Patreon. Yes, absolutely. Support yeah, local yeah. News. The first tier of strange grooves. You find out how me and Brent. Where are we going? Four hours on a boat. That's the first I'll, tier. I'll be subscribing to our own <laughs> Patreon. I know. Four hours. Mentioned earlier though that like the Maritimes is a market that you haven't really explored a whole lot. You haven't been out here too much. What What are your first impressions? I mean, I want to know. Yes. Uh, well, the best airport because like there's like windows everywhere. You know, like That's most nice. airports, you go in and it's like you feel like you're in a, like a concrete, scary bunker. No. Mm-hmm. But yeah, you fair. get to the Halifax airport and they're like, "Don't worry, the outside is right there, like the whole way mm-hmm. through." True. It was yeah. very, it was kind of soothing. It Wait was till like he sees the St. John Airport. It was <laughs> the St. John Airport. That's like a doghouse, right? Literally, it's like two gates. <laughs> 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 I want to say, I want to 
taking it serious and you're offended. <laughs> Fuck you, it's not I a dog house. No, it's, it's like it's a, it's a, nice it's a, it's a kennel. No, it's a kennel. No, it's a kennel. No, Montreal it's really Airport. Nice I mean, you mean St. John, New Brunswick? Yeah, it yeah. fucking is, buddy. It's okay. literally just... Strangely, we really appreciate you following along with us, coming out on the move with us, and really just being here and also watching the trailer, supporting Propeller, and getting people out here tonight. We really appreciate that. Um, it was really nice to see everybody at the Scotia Bank Center and to see like, the theater filled up. And I really think, like, I'm speaking of someone like as I watched it, I felt like I was you in the mirror at that time, like really trying to find myself. And I think everybody has that moment that they can remember where they're really finding themselves or they they found a band that really made them want to dig into something that maybe no one else was listening to. Yeah, that and was like, the whole idea with the, the movie. What was your band? <laughs> well, the idea for, for me was Van Halen. The idea for the whole movie was, uh, great question, um, the idea for the whole movie was like to find that moment when you find your tribe, you know, right. like 10,000 years ago, we, we huddled around a fire. Someone was getting in charge of the meat. Someone was in charge of the, making the tent. Someone was in charge of making sure the fire had wood. Like, we were all so important to every single moment of existence. And if, if that guy didn't do it, the whole tribe could die or someone could right. freeze or lose their foot. That was this sort of feeling of inclusiveness and that everyone was important. Yeah. And that was part of the human experience, was feeling like everything you did was important and that you were like this valuable member of society. Now you can go outside and get a Starbucks or whatever. Like it, our, our, our feeling of value is sort of like diminished, but we recreate that 10,000 year ago vibe in things like bands yeah. or more like, like larger, like in groups of like people who love metal or who love hard rock or alternative rock, whatever, pick a thing, but like you find your tribe. And that's what I wanted to nail was that Dean was like, he found his tribe. Like he found like, oh, metal. That joke, that throwaway joke of like the diddle joke of like, yeah, this was my, this was the metal part and like the non-metal part was a tiny little diddle, but that's legit. It's like true, yeah. when you realize that like your life, for me, I was like, I listened to Van Halen. I was like, why am I doing improv? Why am I playing hockey? Van Halen is everything to me. You know what I mean? Like I realized that like, I would rather listen to music by myself than like win a trophy with a team. <laughs> you know it's kind of like travel. It's kind of like, Traveling without traveling, you see a different side of things without actually being part of it. It's an out of body experience. Exactly. Yeah. yeah that's exactly, true. exactly what it is. It's like I can't be like my favorite band growing up was Oasis, and I was like, I can't be in you know Manchester City, but I can experience what they would experience through that from an island in Canada. Yeah. That's just cool by, like, just, and it gets into your chest, and you're like. <sighs> I'm not, yeah. I'm not giving any spoilers away, but you, you say something in the film where it says, I'm behind a wall, man, and I think everybody has had that situation. I remember being, you know, 14, 15 years old, and there was nothing like all ages shows yet. Yeah. And there, she's still a really good friend of mine to this day, Linda Peltier, if you're listening or watching. Hi, Linda. Linda. Linda is fucking Girls. awesome. She would allow me to come into the bars as long as I didn't drink, and yeah. as long as I would, if I could get out before the liquor inspector come out, and she yeah. would just let me have a safe place to watch music. Now, what and was your favorite part of that experience? What was something you remember from that? I think just feeling involved. Like, okay. feeling like they, even yeah. though I might have been younger, yeah. maybe because the I tribe, was younger, right? the tribe. it was yeah, them like taking me out of the ring. And, and yeah. feeling like, um, you know, you're not like the black sheep, whether you're getting bullied or whatever. You kind of just own your shit. And then, you know, it's funny, they say you, you kind of resemble a lot of how you were in high school. And I definitely embody that now. Like, I'd rather listen to great music, work with really great people, and, you know, the strife of life is still going to be there, but if you have a good support system or some buds that you can call once in a while, that's No, so oh, wait, wait, Oasis, Van Halen, Bob Dylan, Primus. Bob Dylan? <laughs> Who's your band? My band? Yeah. You beat the Wu-Tang Clan. Oh, okay. Okay. Or Wu-Tang Clan. Yeah. Yeah. Not that I know. You buy the camera. I don't have one. It changes depending on my mood. No, no you, you have, have one. Teenager. You have one. Oh, oh teenager. Um, broken right? social so, scene. What? Broken <laughs> social scene was my okay, band in high good. school. Didn't yeah. they have like 11 members? Yeah. They were a collective. That's a lot of, that's a one lot for of. every finger and then another <laughs> finger. Well, 
That's fine, because they keep forming like different hits upon the Hydra. <laughs> He's like one of those maritime cats. Yeah, there you go. 11 fingers? Can it happen? Yeah, it's possible. It's very natural. It's the same strange thing. I'm really, really thrilled that you got to hang out with us. We're going to be showing a lot more from this after party from the screener. It's out everywhere. When? Uh, September 6th. 6 6 and it's going to be fucking awesome. Bring your friends, bring your family out, watch it. It's going to be out on the big screen. So really just check it out. It's Wait. a cat friendly movie. It's and a cat friendly movie. It's, it's got really wicked movie. tunes. Yeah. Dean even wrote some of the tunes that are in it, so you should really check it out. Yeah. We're really wow. Doodle yourself when you hear this song. And if you're a fan of Dino's underwear, it's a lot of underwear. Yeah, a lot of underwear. Yeah. There's, There's a great, lot. There's something for everybody yeah. in this Shorts. Film. If you like seeing ball sack. No, it was short sack. It was just a lot. If you're a Bond Scott fan, you'll we'll like this movie. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's a great analogy. Yes. I like that. Get in now before the market is absolutely flooded with. And until next time, stream through. <laughs> <laughs> We're we'll keeping it strange. Keep it strange. <laughs> Keep it strange, man. <laughs> If you've enjoyed this, then you have to hit strangegrooves.com for more amazing content. To support this podcast and music community, go to patreon.com slash strangegrooves. As always, keep it strange.